John Gilbert kind of sort of knows about his cholesterol. It's high. I think it was up around 245. He's not alone. I think I'm 312. 312 on medicine? No. But I'm working on it. Hernando doesn't know his numbers. I know it's high. I'm overweight. <laughs> and Anthony, well, out of sight. I have no idea what my cholesterol is at this time. I feel good, I feel healthy, and that's it. Well, for a disease that defines silent but deadly, along with its evil cousin hypertension, high cholesterol hits around half of us. And now the latest research in the journal Neurology shows a distressing trend. Many patients hospitalized with strokes or mini-strokes, also called TIAs, have higher than recommended bad or LDL cholesterol, around one in four. Among those who did have cholesterol that was too high but weren't on medicine, more than 90% would have had cholesterol-lowering medicine recommended, and at least some of the strokes would not have happened. It would appear that if you treat people's cholesterol, particularly people who have high cholesterol, with a drug that lowers cholesterol, particularly a type of drug called a statin, the risk of stroke is markedly reduced by perhaps 20 or 30 percent. Even among those already diagnosed with high cholesterol, almost 30 percent of the patients were not at their ideal cholesterol level. Sadly, those at highest risk for stroke were the ones who were least likely to have their cholesterol under good control. Many people who take medicines to reduce their cholesterol levels still have elevated cholesterol. This may be because they're not taking enough of the medication or perhaps because they're not taking the medication as directed. I think one thing that is important, though, is the importance of lowering cholesterol in people who have even borderline elevated cholesterol. But you have to go to the doctor to know you have it. I haven't been to a doctor recently. My point exactly. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.